What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We are here at DC Auto Spa. We are getting the BRZ ready for a shoot today. We are shooting with JRP and we are installing a sprint booster. I was hesitant with the sprint booster at first, but after talking to a few people, a lot of people are telling me they really, really like it. So I think I'm gonna be one of the first with the 2022 BRZ and a sprint booster. Let's get into the video. <laughs> So for today's video, we'll be giving away a Acuity K-Series transmission spring upgrade. This is something I've done in all my cars and I really enjoyed it. This was going to go on the K-Series EK, but I never got a chance in doing it. All you have to do is answer a question at the end of the video to figure out how you can win this. What's up, Derek? <laughs> no videos, eh? How do you like this car in comparison to all the other cars I brought through here? <laughs> You're already asking too many questions. Already, eh? Do you like this car? Okay. Do you like my other cars? Which one was your favorite? EP3. Yeah, that one was cool. EP3 Type R. This though, like, oof. This color, yeah. With this wheel setup and the Brembos are looking mighty fine. I'm still waiting for the rear Brembos to be installed or like finish getting powder coated and we'll install them. But damn, look at that. I'm really, really liking this car. I just ordered some carbon fiber for this car too. You guys aren't gonna expect what it is. What I ordered, I haven't seen anybody order or even install, and it's not hood fenders or uh, trunk. So we'll see when it comes in. Hopefully it's good quality, because it's kind of expensive. And uh, I guess we'll have to wait uh, the month it takes to get delivered. God damn, Derek is almost done and this thing looks absolutely incredible. It looks better than it did when I got it from Subaru. Holy shit. Derek absolutely killed it here at DC Auto Spa. He absolutely killed it. It looks so goddamn good. La Jesus. That's the info right there, you guys. Check him out. There's his phone number and email. I'll link his Instagram down below. Highly, highly, highly recommend these guys. Killed it. The car looks killer. It looks so, so good. I'm so happy. I'm excited to try this Sprint Booster. Like I said, I've personally never tried one, but I know a lot of people who have. So I'll give you guys my honest feedback after we do it. And I'll let you guys know if it's actually worth doing it, right? Because that's the main thing. We're here, we're at JRP, uh, we're gonna bring the car in very shortly and uh, they're gonna install the Sprint Booster and after we install the Sprint Booster, I'll give you guys a review on it, letting you guys know how I like it and if it's worth it or not. So that is a big, big thing. It's pretty inexpensive, it's around like the $300 mark, I would say Canadian. I'm actually very curious on this. I couldn't pass up the chance to try it out. This is research and development for you guys. All right guys, so the Sprint Booster is installed. We are gonna go for a drive and we're gonna test it out. I am super, super excited to actually try it out. And uh, I'm here with Mr. Christopher James and Phil. Super happy to actually be here and collaborating with these guys. Very, very cool. So what do you guys think of the Sprint Booster? I think everyone that works here has them, even on CRVs, yeah. everything. Yeah. So this is a, uh, a product that is widely used by various cars. We, we put them on everything. It's, it's an underrated <laughs> mod. It's 100%. Right? It's the last thing people think, but it, for, for those who own it, it's the first thing they, they default to when they buy a new vehicle, right? Exactly. Let's go for a drive and uh, let's see. And then if you guys want to check out their footage, where would we check out their footage at? You can check out the US website at springboosterusa.com or uh, you can check out our social media at JRP underscore. 
Very cool. All right, guys. So there it is. It is a very, very small device. And what you can do, this is the main button. So red is sport and you have nine levels. And then this is off and then green is just like more of a comfort. And then you have nine levels of that too. One of my main complaints with the new 22 BRZ is the fact that the throttle leg, especially coming out of first gear is horrible. And I know some of you guys who are driving this car know exactly what I'm talking about. Even if it's not this car and it's the car that you guys have and the throttle leg is bad, this is a good solution for it. Uh, especially when you're trying to blip it out of first gear. Like I know this car, sometimes I blip it and nothing really happens. So I have to blip it twice and then I can really get those RPMs up. But let's go for a drive and let's see how it really is. I'll let you guys know my honest opinion if I like it or not. So one thing I want to show you guys off the bat right now. So I'm on the freeway slash highway and I'm keeping my foot at 105 steady. So you guys see this? So now we're going to put it into, it's like sport mode, not the sport plus, more of like the comfort mode. And then you can start feeling it. Same foot pressure, it's starting to accelerate. And now I'm going to hit it into sport mode and you can start seeing it accelerating a little more and my foot pressure has not changed it's because it's responding with the throttle and opening it up with less pressure it's the best way to kind of explain and let's change that back down so now it's completely off as you same foot pressure hasn't changed and you can see it's slowly slowly dropping so let's keep it again at 107 we'll put like the first mode on here and you can see that we're starting to accelerate slowly and let's put the sport mode you can even hear the car open up a little more so very very cool so far i'm just testing everything out getting my hands on it just learning it very very cool but like once again off and you can hear the car just slowing down already and let's put it back to sport and there you go and i have not changed my foot pressure on the pedal whatsoever after about a half an hour of driving i've dialed it in and i can tell you my settings and what i like to drive with and if it's actually worth it so i there's two settings, green and red. I am in green level nine, and I think that is the perfect daily driving amount that you can use without being overkill. And for me so far, I'm, this is the setting I'm enjoying the absolute most. Green level nine is my favorite setting. I think it's not overkill, but it's just enough, and it does the job really well. It eliminates that throttle leg, but it's not overkill. If you try sport level nine, you'll notice that sometimes when you blip the throttle, it really revs out the car really high. What's really nice about this is like, if you have in Sport 9, you're gonna overtake somebody. You would not have to put your foot down to the floor to make it go. Like you barely touch the throttle and it opens the throttle a lot more. So at the end of the day, what it's really doing is just opening up your throttle body with less foot pressure, right? So it's not making your car faster or anything, but it's just more enjoyable in my opinion. Right now, I'm really, really enjoying this, like a level nine green. And then if I was to, you know, race a car, push it a little bit, I definitely would put it in the sport mode. No matter what setting you choose, you'll definitely have to adjust your driving style because right now, if you're driving perfectly fine, you're compensating for that leg. So by eliminating the leg through the sprint booster, you have to see, I was just feathering. You have to adjust your first takeoff and you're shifting between gears, especially if you're driving a little aggressively. It's something you definitely have to take into consideration. Honestly, guys, I'm personally really enjoying it. I didn't think I would. Like I said, I was skeptical. I did not think I would enjoy this, but I definitely am. So this is how it looks. So all you gotta do is press it, it turns on. This is a mode I enjoy driving the most. It is green nine. And then if we go to red, red is sport nine. And definitely you'll need to learn or adjust your driving style to sport nine. The throttle blipping is so sensitive. I'll definitely do a little more driving in this to get it down packed. My preferred driving is the green nine at the moment. But check it out, that is sport. I can't, I'm not sure what the green is called, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm just gonna call it comfort mode. I think that is way better than stock. Once again, off, you turn on, and then you can see we can adjust the levels. And green nine, I think is the best. If you guys do end up getting one, let me know what you prefer driving in. I really like green nine for everyday driving, but you know, if we're gonna get into sport mode, do some rips and everything like that, definitely this is what you're gonna wanna do. There it is guys, check out the car. A lot of new stuff happening. Wheels are on, front brembles are on, suspension is on, sprint booster is on, waiting for the rear brembles as always. And yeah, I'm really, really enjoying the progress of this car. I'm loving this car more and more every day. What I'm actually gonna do, and something I like, I kind of regret a little bit, is going with the side plate. I think I'm gonna go to the front. 
and hopefully one of you guys have a Night Runner's tilt plate. That's what I'm really looking for. I'll be selling or maybe giving away one of these relocation plates. It's not like I don't like this. I think it looks good. It's just the symmetry is killing me. That's all. Yo, this is a pretty easy question and all you have to do is either know the channel or go back and watch some of the videos. What was the fastest car we ever reviewed or recorded? All you have to do is comment the title of that video and you will win this absolutely free. I will ship it out to wherever you are. I have a bunch of stuff in the garage. Instead of selling it, I thought, why not do a giveaway every video until we kind of run out of everything and the, they will get better. We'll do, we're doing all the small stuff first and we're gonna work our way up to the more expensive stuff. At the end of the day, was the Sprint Booster worth it? If you're happy with how the car drives and the throttle leg doesn't bother you, don't get it. I'll be honest with you guys. But if that is something that annoys you and you want a quick fix, that is pretty inexpensive, I would say, in the car world, I would go with the Sprint Booster. I actually really enjoy it and that is my honest opinion. I, like I said, Green 9, I think, Sport 9 or Red 9 is way too aggressive at the moment. Uh, if we're racing or driving super hard, I think that would do perfectly well, but like for city driving and everything, Green 9 is my shit. That is what I like. If this video helped you at all, make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out, do it once, do it right, and later. <laughs> One of the tensions, hey. I appreciate it. Thank you. How? Is this in the garage? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is, I just washed it today, too. <laughs> oh, man. I thought, oh, man. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I had a 10 gen Civic 2 before this. I, I, I think I saw you get a red one? A black one. You're not that fast no more, man. I, I had an upgraded turbo and stuff, so it wasn't too bad. Bigger turbo? Yeah. Well, same size, bigger turbine. Oh, okay. This is uh, beautiful, though. Thank you, bro. Enjoy. I appreciate it. See you later. <laughs> and love right there. I appreciate you guys always. Even in the BRZ, the 10 genders are giving me love. Thank you. <laughs> that was awesome.